<laughs> What's up, modern steaders? We're back on the homestead today. Whew, we're back where we feel at home. It's always fun to leave the homestead and go out, but I'll tell you what. Yeah, we don't fit in in places like that, but that's all right. So we kind of have an issue this morning. We need to move New York City. But as you can see, the ducks are out. We got home late, and when I locked up New York City last night, all the chickens were in, and I didn't have time to try to get the ducks in. Or I forgot. It was pretty late. So we gotta think about, a, now I need to think about a way to get New York City moved and the ducks. I have to think on this one. We're gonna feed the chicks inside. And I don't know what we're gonna do. Come on everybody. You're staying in for now. You're on lockdown. Duck egg. <sighs> Thank you. Good morning, piggies. Did you miss us? Did you miss us? Was that a yes? Was that a yes? Yesterday's video might have been a little off topic, but we all are gonna, whether you live on a homestead, or if you live at a house in town, and if you have animals, you always need to leave and go places. We had to celebrate Olivia's birthday. She turned nine, Woohoo! But we have animals. We need to have systems in place so we can leave the modern homestead and not be tied to it. So, we're just coming back to this one. We have our pasture-raised pigs and a pen in the center of the pasture. So this way we can lock them in here and we don't have to worry about them while we're gone. And it worked out perfect. They're still here. They have plenty of food. See? And plenty of water. And this morning, they get to get out on pasture. So even though yesterday's video was a little off topic, it's kind of not, because that's real life. And no matter what, you're going to have to leave, so have systems in place so you can take off for a day, and you don't have to worry about everything. Portuguese Prepper was asking the other day about how the outdoor automatic pig feeder's doing. Well, I think Portuguese prepper you just saw, they love it. The grain is still nice and dry. They're trying to eat my pants. And it works great. So I think we came up with a game plan to move New York City completely. We're gonna have to wait and see if it works. Let's find out. The first thing we gotta do is shut the fence off. We can take out our corner posts.
All right, so now I can open up the old fence. Back, we can back up to New York City and move it forward, and then we'll just close it all off, get the ducks in here, and be good. If you want to pull that second stake up, I'm going to undo that one, and we'll walk it down that way. You're going to do what? I need you to pull up that stake. Yeah. We need to walk it down that way so I can get that post past where I'm going to be taking apart. Okay. I need to go around here. That'll work. And that'll just give us... <laughs> oh, I was on the ground pretty good. Okay, it's your turn. Slow. Stop it right there. All right. We got the ducks in. Woohoo! Uh oh. You got a broken toenail? Uh oh. All right. Let's get this rigged up now. What is that? Chicken. Why does it sound like that? I don't know, maybe one of them is laying an egg. That's a weird sound. <coughs> That's normal. That ain't normal. Might be one of the roosters laying the crow, too. Oh, something. Wait, what are you doing? She's doing something. She keeps running back and forth. You having fun? <coughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
You ready to let him out? Yes, Go for it. Come on, guys. Girls. That's it. That was kind of boring. Look at all the fresh grass. Bugs. That's some good stuff. Which one of you guys was making all the weird sounds? <laughs> Must have been one of the guys. The girl went and make that sound. They're going to town eating grass. What are you playing with? Thinking putty. What's a thinking putty? I don't know. It has a cool container? Mm-hmm. You get to mix it? Yeah. Cool. I got to make it. You got to make it? Thinking mm -hmm. putty. Awesome. Fun. You got different colors? Mm-hmm. And you get to name them? Mm-hmm. Fun. All right. So I'm curious if I just clamp the electric fencer to the fence on some of the metal filaments if that'll energize the whole fence. Don't find out. It's blinking green. Let's take the energizer. 8,000 there. 8,000 there. Let's go on the back side of the fence and check it out. Alright, see what we have over here. 4,000, I'm happy with that. We should have mowed over here, but we didn't. So 4,000 volts, I'm happy with that. That'll keep the predators out and keep the chickens in. It's good to know that we don't have to clamp the energizer on those ends. We can put it anywhere in the fence. It's just more convenient for us right now to have it over there and shut it off when we come through the woods, through the house. Shut it off and we can come into New York City and get the eggs. There you go. It is heavy, isn't it? How is the pasture raised roast for dinner? Good. Good. Now we get to have some homemade vanilla cupcakes. With homemade vanilla frosting mini, just mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday. How was it? It's your birthday, it's a whole week, right? Huh? At least a weekend. Yeah. Okay, try it. Oh, we're gonna sing to her. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Olivia. Happy birthday to you. Blow out your candles. Awesome. It's actually really fun. What is? Blowing out your candle? Mm -hmm. Saying happy birthday to you? No, blowing out your candle. That's good. That's still warm. Mm -hmm. We hope you enjoyed today's video. It was back to the normal, regular, scheduled videos that we normally do. Yesterday was just a fun video at the amusement park for your birthday, right? Mm -hmm. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it. It really helps the channel grow, and we thank you, Modern Steaders, for that. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at... Welcome to Acres, a guide to modern home sitting, self-sufficiency, and freedom. She'll be nine by then. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye.